yeah, we're going to keep pushing right now and also talk about the elephant in the room and the fact that at 61 years old, yes, Tom Cruise is 61 years old, he's still one of the fittest and most well-conditioned actors in Hollywood. The man is absolute gold. Now, the superstar still does his own stunts, which seem to get crazier and crazier with every movie, as I'm sure you've seen in some of the trailers we've been uh, showing you. Now, the key for Cruise is mixing things up. Now, his workouts include running, kayaking, rock climbing, and fencing. It's a varied stimulus, and he uses three days for weight training and cardio to remain in shape. So, we thought we'd give you some insight and maybe get you Tom Cruise ready. So, we brought in someone that is a specialist when it comes to strength training, when it comes to anything in mo involving moving your body. I'm talking about personal trainer Paul Jordan in the building. How are you? I'm good, bro, and you? Ah, uh, good, good, I think good I'm still back. recovering from that last leg session we did, like, Listen, two that leg ago. session was all, it was all about it. I mean, you had that proper pump on TV. Yeah, so man, <laughs> pumping off. But let's get Tom Cruise ready. I see the man really looks good in the upper body region yes. for his age. I don't know what's happening lower down because he was wearing pants, but he looks competent. He's doing but we can give we can give the viewers an idea. Okay. Uh, he follows a traditional split in regards to his weight training. Yeah. Um, day one, um, chest, shoulders, and uh, chest, shoulders, triceps. triceps day two, okay. back, biceps, traps. All right. Uh, day three or day four, you'll take like um, you'll do some outdoor activities just to get that cardio in, get the okay, heart nice. racing, blah yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, on his extra weight lifting day, yeah, yeah. you'll do uh, abs and lower body. Okay, so that's like a, almost like a traditional bro split. Yeah, like you know three days split. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, I like that. Clearly it's legs. working for the man. Yes. And clearly the consistency also pays off. So he does weight training. What happens if you don't have weights and you still want to look like Tom Cruise? Right, so you can, you can perform some of the exercises at home if you have, let's say, dumbbells. If not, you can still perform a similar exercise that targets the same muscle groups, right? So we can be, I'll be showing some of the exercises that you can be doing as alternatives to the weightlifting exercises. If you do have access to a gym, you can combine the exercises that I'll be showing today with them in a superset or, let's say, a drop set. Beautiful. Let's get straight into it, man. Right. My workout gear. So on one, of his, one of his first exercises that he usually does on a day one for chest is like bench press, yeah. incline press. So we're going to be doing movements on the ground for yeah. that. So we can start. We start on the, with the normal hand place, split placements. Let's do reps of 12. All right, we're going into then a push-up, up, right? Yes. <sighs> right. Just keep it there. Anything to look out for here when we're doing the push-up? Any do's and don'ts? I think just keep your hands neutral. Okay. Uh, above your, uh, below your shoulders. Head up. Usually, always head up. Ooh, okay, it burns here. I'm feeling it. 10, 11, 12. Now, Ooh. what we can do is we can go in the pike position, yeah. start hitting that, those front delts. If you don't have the weights to perform, um, dumbbell shoulder, shoulder press. press or yes. Something like that. All, right. All right. So, this is an alternative for a dumbbell press. We're going into a pike right now. In here, again, do's and don'ts on the pike. I know always keeping the elbows in as opposed to yes. fade out, right? Correct. Whew. Oh, the shoulders are now burning, my friends. How many reps are you going for you? Let's give six. Oh. And then stand up again. Woo! <laughs> All, All right. right. Hey, we go straight into it. I'm ready to get the bulbous Tom Cruise look. <laughs> <laughs> now for the next couple of sets. Yeah. Um, so what he usually does uh, for shoulders, he likes to do seated overhead shoulder press, dumbbell, sh uh, dumbbell press. I haven't seen any lateral raises in his movements okay, well, in, yeah. his, in his day one. Which but I think, the... yes, for his, for his, for his, delts, uh, yeah. for, for the delts, the side delts. But um, let's show the viewers some exercises that, that they can be doing from home in a seated position using any weights to have to their advantage, okay, right? So I don't even need like a gym bench. I can just. I think so. Like, obviously, nice. don't go too heavy and like injure your back in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, if you do have weights to your advantage, so we get. Nice. If you do have weights to your advantage, use them. We've All got right. a gym hack here, obviously, as you can see, him, Zanzi. So no excuse if you don't have equipment at home. You can fill up some water bottles or fill up a bag or do anything crazy. But let's get into it. All right. So we, so we are in a seated position. He yeah. likes to do seated uh, dumbbell overhead press, shoulder press. So let's just show the viewers the proper form for the shoulder press. Like to go down below the 90 degree and up. You know what's crazy about seating on the ground right now is the fact that I almost feel a little bit of my core stimulation as well. That is correct. It almost feels like I'm needing to make sure that my body doesn't fall all over the show. So the core is engaged right now. So we can give them another alternative right to that, which is the Arnold. Oh yeah, the Arnold press. <laughs> And dude, even though we are using like water bottles right now, I myself am getting a good stimulus in my shoulder. <laughs> I use weights at home and I it use must heavy be weights. The bikes. <laughs> but no, honestly, even even just doing something with good well, good control, I think, and good quality, 
You really still get that stimulus, man. Mind muscle connection, I think. That is correct. All in control. All right, let's move over to triceps. He likes doing Whoa. dumbbell. Now, this is where it gets interesting because if you don't have gym equipment, how do you work the tricep? Do you have well, anything for that? Well, of course we do. Uh, let's just show the viewers what they can do if they do have a weight, okay. right? He likes doing dumbbell overhead tricep extensions, right? Okay. So just, let's just show him the form right. and then I will give him an alternative straight after, right? So this is the proper form for a dumbbell overhead tricep movement. As you come up, remember to squeeze. That's the most important thing and okay. have that range yeah. of motion when going down. All right. Perfect. Beautiful stuff, now brother. Let's give the viewers an alternative. We'll just tell them an alternative. So an alternative will just be to do your diamonds and focus on the form going down. Oh, all right. If for any reason you can't be doing this on your toes, go down on your knees. It's 100% fine. <laughs> and focus on the range of motion. Oh, man, Paul, you're done. Coming through with the goods right now. I've got the pump. Clearly, as you can see, something's working here. And I gotta thank you, man. Always coming through, always producing. If you wanna get your Tom Cruise muscle fitness on, then maybe reach out to this man. He's got a full week program that he can offer you. And get the pump on. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice job, bro. Thank you.